on this, the shortest day of the year, and as we head into the longest night, we gather mindful of the losses that have multiplied throughout the year. As we look back at it all at once, we are in danger of being overwhelmed by its tragedies, sickness, violence, fires, hurricane, earthquake, racial injustice, and more. Our aim tonight is to acknowledge it, to mourn this, and to know that in all of this, there is the possibility of more light. If we are to be overwhelmed, let it be that we are overwhelmed with the assurance that we are not alone. We are able to do this because the longest night is the birth canal to ever more light. As the days now lengthen and we wait for the springtime of new life. Some of our earliest evidence is that our ancient ancestors saw this night and the dawn of tomorrow as the appropriate time to honor their love, love, lost loved ones. It was this moment that symbolized most powerfully that the path to everlasting life is filled with the light of new and growing dawn. Psalms 39 verses 9 says, With you is the spring of life. In your light we see light. As we gather, we are like the lights that illuminate a Christmas tree. One single light will feel small and inadequate. When we feel as if our light is insignificant or when our light feels dim, we can find hope in gathering as the body of Christ. Like how the many lights strung together on a Christmas tree create beauty and brilliance. Through the light of Christ, we find the source of strength and courage to let our light continue to shine. The light of Christ offers to us hope, love, peace, and joy, even in our darkest times. We can trust that God's goodness and the holy light to continue to shine until we ourselves shine bright once more. We invite you to light a candle in your home now, reminding us that we are not alone. Please join us in a litany of loss. We mourn this night the loss of life. For so many, the pandemic has taken loved ones. We mourn the loss of those close to us and those whose names we do not even know. We mourn those who perished while working to save the lives of others. We mourn those who died, not of the pandemic, but of other causes. And we mourn the loss, in many cases, of our ability to be with them as they passed. Our loss of gathering together for comfort in the ways that we needed so much. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of life. We mourn this loss of life. We honor and remember those beloveds. We honor and remember those beloveds. We pray for comfort and peace. We pray for comfort and peace. Amen. 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 O come, O come, Emmanuel. And ransom captive Israel That mourns in lonely exile here Until the Son of God appears Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel Shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou wisdom from on high, and order all things far and nigh. 
to us the path of knowledge show and cause us in her ways to go rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to thee We mourn this night the loss of livelihoods. For so many, the pandemic has taken the security of food, shelter, care for families, and medical care. We mourn the loss of businesses that could not withstand the circumstances. These were not just businesses, but dreams born of passion and hard work. We mourn those who find themselves needing to rely on others for help when what they really want to do is be able to help others. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of livelihood. We, we mourn, mourn this, this loss, loss of, of livelihood. livelihood. We honor and remember the dreams now deferred. We honor and remember the dreams now deferred. We pray for sustenance and resilience. We pray for sustenance and resilience. Amen. Amen. Amen.
we mourn this night the loss of love. Our society's dilemma, centuries in the making, has created such hatred, suffering, oppression, and ill will. We mourn the loss of those whose lives were lost to brutality and violence. We mourn the loss of our ability to love one another despite our differences as being who deserves to be seen for their inherent beauty and worth. We mourn the black and brown people that have perished and suffered at the greatest proportion in the pandemic of coronavirus. We mourn the pandemic of racism that still plagues the fabric of our communities. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of love. We mourn, we mourn this, this loss, loss of, of love. love. We honor and remember the work of prophets who proclaim justice. We, we honor, honor and remember, remember the work, work of prophets who proclaim, proclaim justice. justice. We pray for compassion and change. We, we pray, pray for, for compassion, compassion and change. change. Amen. 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 We mourn this night the loss of liveliness. For so many, this year has robbed us of our energy, our enthusiasm, and our sense of well-being. We mourn teachers and leaders and caregivers and workers who are struggling to help those in their care, themselves exhausted and needing the sustenance they give to others. We mourn the loss of all who are suffering with mental health challenges, who are finding it difficult to live each day with fullness or to find hope for tomorrow. We mourn those we have lost to suicide. We mourn those who find themselves using substances in order to ease the pain that feels unbearable. We mourn those who are experiencing abuse in that place of shelter from which they struggle to escape. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of liveliness. We mourn this loss of liveliness. We honor and remember that each person is precious and whole. We honor and remember that each person is precious and whole. We pray for recovery and renewed vigor. We pray for recovery and renewed vigor. Amen. Amen. Amen.
comes to And now we light a fifth candle. We light this as a sign of our belief. We believe in the light that has come and is coming and has not overcome. This light casts its glow on all the surrounding prayers we have prayed. This light resides within us, perhaps dim for a time, but always lit an ember of the holy inside us. This light reminds us that like the vine connected to the branch, we draw our hope through others, the body of Christ, and Emmanuel, God with us. This light reminds us that we are not alone. As we share in our bidding prayer, as I say the words, Lord, in your mercy, Please respond with, let your light shine and illuminate the darkness. Let us pray. God of light and darkness, heaven and earth, beginning and end, we come to you with so many questions, knowing there are no easy answers. In this season of shorter days and longer nights, we confess we have no patience for pain or sorrow. We do not want to make room for grief, whether ours or others. And we string colored lights and hang shiny garlands to cover up the messy, damaged, unpresentable parts of our lives. But when we do that, we have no way of seeking healing. And so we come to you today, impatient and bored, eager and excited to open our hearts to your healing touch and to ask you to make yourself known once more in the shadows and broken places of our world. For those who have no homes in the midst of winter's cold nights and for those who have been looking for work so long they've given up hope, Lord, in your mercy, let, Let your, your light, light shine, shine and illuminate the darkness. the darkness. For those who struggle with grief and loss, whose family gatherings and memories bring more pain than joy, Lord, in your mercy, let, Let your, your light, light shine and illuminate, illuminate the, darkness. the darkness. For all who suffer from mental illness and addiction, and for those bearing the burden of chronic conditions or terminal disease, Lord, in your mercy, let, let your, your light, light shine and illuminate, illuminate the, the darkness. darkness. For nations where war and violence are a daily experience, and for families in our own community who live in the shadow of abuse, Lord, in your mercy, let, Let your, your light, light shine and illuminate the darkness. For those who are hungry, who do not have clean water, who cannot access good medical care, who daily face the possibility of death, Lord, in your mercy, let, let your, your light, light shine and illuminate, illuminate the darkness. 
for all who live in places of oppression and persecution, who are not free to express their opinions or beliefs, who live in fear, or who struggle for change. Lord, in your mercy, let, let your light shine and, and illuminate the darkness. For those who have lost their lives to COVID-19, we pray for an end to this global pandemic. We lift up essential workers and medical professionals, teachers and scientists. We pray for our leaders and all those in places of influence who have the power to bring about healing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, let, let your, your light, light shine and, and illuminate the, the darkness. darkness. God of light and darkness, heaven and earth, beginning and end, who we still long for this day, we give thanks that in Christ you have reached out toward us, taking on flesh and sharing our human experience, knowing both the darkness and the light of this beautiful terrible, wondrous life. In us and through us and in all things, we pray as Jesus, the light of the world, taught us, saying, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hear now this blessing. It surely must have been a dark night in which the psalmist looked up into the dark sky and said, who are we that God is mindful of us? And surely Mary must have felt she was in a place of darkness when she proclaimed almost the same thing and said, How can all this be? In this darkest night, we too stand in confusion, doubt, or longing, and yet underlying it all is our desire for hope. We fall on our knees and pray with the songwriter, O oh, holy night, our weary souls rejoice. For even if the light is dim, we sense that yonder breaks a new and glorious morning. Come, thou long-expected Jesus, hope of all the earth thou art. And with the psalmist who proclaimed, my soul finds rest in God, my hope comes from him. The eyes of the Lord are on those who love him and those whose hope is in his unfailing love. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help. And we lift our voices with the songwriter who says, Be born again in us this day. Come, Lord Jesus, come. May your soul find rest in God, the Father, this day. May the peace of the Holy Spirit, which surpasses all understanding, fill you with courage and strength for the days ahead. And may the hope of Christ Jesus be born anew in you in the most surprising ways. Amen. <laughs> 